Our next wonderful physicist did the most amazing thing of all, which is to walk into a classroom and talk physics. Now that's tough. Look at the biceps on him. He walked into a classroom and taught physics for 15 years and then realised that there was a newfangled thing out there called technology and it needed to be taught to students in classrooms. So he took a job doing that and the re result is here. Big hand for Simon Crook. Thanks, Phil. Um, okay. Phil, Phil, move him over into the spotlight. Um, so, just, just as if... Oh, keep going Come back on in a second. You. Okay, so Phil basically told you, physics teacher, working technology with a bunch with uh, I work with 151 schools in the southwest and the south of Sydney, and um, doing some physics education research at Sydney. But uh, I also have a five-year-old son and a two-year-old son. And I know with the, I'm, I'm loving all the highbrow physics that's going on here tonight, but I thought I'd bring it down a little bit and do some preschool physics. Because uh, we can't wait till they're 18 to start learning physics. And I don't, hands up here, who's got little kids? I can't see any. <laughs> it's the um, okay, now, you know, little kids love technology. They love the iPads. If we left them to it, they'll just be watching Peppa Pig all the time. And, um, you know, uh, some great stuff on YouTube. And, you know, you can't not pe Peppa Pig too much. But it'd be nice if they actually taught themselves some physics. So I want to show you a couple of things. This is the Planets app, which you can all be downloading now and using up your data. Uh, it's free. And so I can put this on, and my two-year-old can just spin the world around, which is fantastic. Uh, my uh, five-year-old can actually move it around and he can see, uh, oh, so you can actually see the location um, of where we are, and we can actually see where night and day are. Now, you might be able to tell from my dodgy accent, I'm not from around these parts. Um, so, my son can see that in Australia, it is night time, whereas if we go to where Granny and Grandad are, it is daytime. And oh. we, can, we can spin it around again, because it's really cool. <laughs> and, um, so there's various things just in terms of the Earth and the planets that we can actually play with and we can look at the poles and talk about, you know, the polar bears and uh, everything. Um, but, you know, that's a nice little cool thing. Now if we take it to the next step, if I go to the Sky 2D, so we get a nice little 2D um, kind of map of the sky, which, because of the beautiful accelerometer in here and the GPS, we can actually uh, start moving the iPad around and finding a few things. Oh, that's lovely, and we can start learning about north, south, east, and west. Then it gets really cool. If we go to Sky 3D, I can now find where every planet is. And the Milky Way. And all the major constellations just by moving it around. And this works day or night. So long gone are the days when, okay, you need a dedicated physics teacher and then you'd all have a camp out and you go to the observatory or whatever, you get the telescope and at night. You can be doing this during the day. Um, you can talk about Laplace's inversion plane, uh, and you're only five years old. So it's all. Right, I can spend hours doing this actually. I know I've only got eight minutes. I mean, that's all pretty cool when it's free as well. Uh, then, of course, we're just working invisible there. Now, I know we've got a few astronomers here. Who would like to see some uh, gamma ray imagery? Ooh, okay, oh. woo! going on and some very bright gamma ray bursts. Okay, and we can have a look at X-ray. And I can go to the mall and you've got the hydrogen alpha and so on. And um, we have to do the microwave of course. Ooh. And I would upset the radio uh, the astronomers if I didn't go to radio. Sorry if any of you astronomers, I'll just skip that. And so this is all happening in the lounge at home instead of at the peak. Um, and so there's various things there. Now, I've no idea how I'm going for time, but I'll check more things. 
Okay, this is a particle physics app for the particle physicists. No offense, guys, this isn't. It costs 11 bucks, and okay, you know. All right, let's have a look at leptons, and uh, let's have a look at muons. Really, it's just giving a bit of information and a few nice prick diagrams and the rest of it, but it's there, and if you're really into your quantum physics, uh, sorry, your particle physics, um, you can play with that. Sorry to diss it if anyone wrote it. Um, <laughs> This is quite cool. So uh, going back to the quantum physics and the universe splitting in two. So what you can actually do is, um, you know, with every quantum event in the universe splitting into two, you can put in the two options. So you can take a chance to play it safe. And uh, you go through this. I mean, talk about an easy app to write. And okay, there you go. I'm playing it safe. And I'll tweet it. I think only in one universe. Okay, <laughs> and then I can choose the other thing. So I am going to. <coughs> oh, I think I just connected there. Get another beer <laughs> of Boris. Bet change. Which one? Or not? <laughs> and. What's going to happen? Oh, I should get another bit of Boris. Fantastic! Yay! And so on. And you can see your chart and you can follow it through, and it's all really cool if you're five years old. Thank you very much. Good morning.